Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to give you a glimpse of Oxygen OS 12 closed beta on my OnePlus 8T. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. If we go into the about section, you can see I have installed Oxygen OS 12 closed beta. The build version is C.06, the Android version is 12 and the Android security patch is 5 December 2021, which means it's an old build. The build was leaked in December and for that reason, I'm not going to make an installation video on this one. We'll suggest everyone to wait for the official open beta builds. Now let's talk about my experience of Oxygen OS 12 closed beta installed on OnePlus 8T. Starting off with the launcher, you now get the color OS launcher instead of the Oxygen OS launcher and I kinda like this launcher as it has more features than Oxygen OS launcher. I mean it is just loaded with so many features. Also you don't get any Chinese bloatware on this one as we used to get on color OS 12. And if I swipe from the top right, the new compact shelf comes up. I kinda Kinda like this newly revamped shelf as it takes less space and shows more information and it looks very very clean. Moving on to the quick settings and notification panel, it is same as Oxygen OS 11 and it has not been changed. I guess it will be gone in the future updates. And the same goes for the volume panel, the Google Dialer and the Messages app. They are the exact same as they were on Oxygen OS 11. Moving on, the settings have been completely revamped and you can see the same settings menu as we get on Color OS 12. I'll quickly take you through some of the settings and features available here. If we go into personalization, we get so many options to customize. Always on display is loaded with features but not as much as Color OS 12. In fact, the AOD clock options are the same as we used to get on Oxygen OS 11. Then we have the theme store and icon shape. Inside icon shapes, you can customize every bit of launcher icons. Then we have quick settings icon selector and after that, you get the accent color options and you can see that you get only solid accents to choose from. That means there is no material new color picking available on this version of Oxygen OS 12. Then we have the option to select fingerprint animation and this is one of my favorite features. You get 8 types of animations to choose from. Moving on, the dark mode is also better than Oxygen OS 11. You have 3 types of dark mode to choose from. Finally, I can have the AMOLED dark mode. But if you don't like the AMOLED dark, you can also have the medium gentle modes. Apart from this, there are a lot of special features like screenshot gestures, new one-handed mode from Android 12, quick launch and everything just works so smoothly without any hiccups. If we talk about the gaming mode, it is the same as Oxygen OS 11 and you don't get the overpowered gaming mode from Color OS 12 in this beta version. Also, BGMI is capped at 60 FPS even though OnePlus 8T has a 120Hz screen. Typical OnePlus. Comment down if you want a full gaming review on this ROM. Moving on, the camera and gallery app are the same as Oxygen OS 11 and no updates have been made to that. The battery life of Oxygen OS 12 is amazing and I'm getting 7 to 8 hours of screen on time with normal usage and that is just incredible for a beta software. Honestly, I did not enjoy Oxygen OS 12 as much as I enjoyed Color OS 12. I know this was a closed beta software but even for that it felt like it is half baked. I don't recommend anyone to install the software as it was an old December league closed beta. I will make a video again as soon as another version of Oxygen OS 12 is released for OnePlus 8T. That's all for this video. This was Oxygen OS 12 open beta on OnePlus 8T. Thank you for watching.